Bonjour à tous les amis, c'est encore moi Kevin, auteur du blog Le Japon en noir et blanc. Aujourd'hui, nouvelle invité. Oui, bonjour, comment ça va <rire> Ça va, ça va bien, ça, ça va, va bien. Je oh. parle un peu français. Tu parles un peu français, en plus oui. ça parle un peu français la famille. <rire> bon, on va quand même faire, euh, on va quand même faire, euh, bon, on va faire la vidéo en français. Français, d'ailleurs. Français, comme dit. Ok, oui, ok. <rire> Alors, comment ça va toi Ok, ok, ok. okay. Bon, c'est mort, yeah. c'est mort pour le français. Bon, on va, on va la faire, on va la faire en anglais. Tout le reste, je te dis en anglais. Dis-moi chaque fois que je te parle. Bonjour, Marintia, c'est Kyo. Je vous remercie. Ok, en anglais, en anglais. What's up guys, it's Marentia. Um, today he's gonna interview me. I'm gonna be on his channel, so let's have some fun. Ok, et le yeah. truc qui est bien la famille, le truc qui est bien la famille, c'est qu'elle a une chaîne, ah, elle a une chaîne YouTube. Elle est sur YouTube, les gars. Elle est sur YouTube. Elle a une grosse chaîne YouTube. Je crois que maintenant elle a combien 50 000 followers Now, how many followers do you have on YouTube 51,000? Yeah. yeah, that's really good. Hello yeah. so guys, what's up? It's Marintia. If this is your first video you're watching of me, I do house tours, vlogs around the world in Japan and Ghana. And right now, obviously, I am in Ghana. Really good. Yeah. So guys, we do an interview in English. So, can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? a bit about your background yeah so i'm half japanese half ghanaian my dad is from ghana and my mom is from japan oh. but i grew up mainly in ghana and i spent like summers and like a couple years in japan here and there and i go to university in the u.s so a little bit all over the place oh <laughs> yeah. so you really traveled a lot you really live in yeah. different places you know a lot about different culture mm, and things <laughs> oh. yeah Okay, me, mm -hmm. I have one interesting question. You okay. say your parents are living in Africa, right? Yeah. Your father, you lived also in Africa, mm -hmm. in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me what is to grow up in, in Africa in as a Ghana. half Japanese? Okay, so, okay, I grew up in Ghana and I moved there when I was two. So that's kind of all I know. But um, comparing it a little bit to Japan, people are a lot more uh, accepting. Mm -hmm. Over there, I would say it's a lot more, you know, free, mm -hmm. open, there are different types of people. Mm -hmm. um, it's fun growing up in Ghana, it's very different from Japan. Japan's also really good, but it's just completely different worlds. Um, I think in Ghana, depending on the environments you grow up in, like, there's such a huge gap between upper class, middle class, mm -hmm. lower class, like, developing countries. Mm -hmm. So depending on which experience you have, it's completely different. So. I think it's so many factors that like play into that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Because uh, us in France, a lot of people are afraid to live in Africa because mm. they think Africa is not modern and everything. Yeah. But you, you are born in Japan, mm -hmm. you live in Ghana, every summer we are in, in, uh, in uh, Japan. Yeah. What do you think is the big difference between Japan and Ghana? Big difference? There's so many big difference. I think um, in Japan, it's very important to preserve the culture here, mm. right? So then other cultures, well, I'm married and I, like, mm. you keep it Japanese culture, Japanese everything. Um, in Japan, they only speak Japanese. Ghana is more, a little bit more open, accepting to other cultures. Mm. So you see a lot of different people from other countries, but you don't feel too much like you're kind of out of place over mm. there so it's a lot more open um, another difference like Japan people are very respectful to time <laughs> like mm. those, those small things in Ghana like I'm sure it's similar in Ivory Coast but people yeah. are always oh, late yeah, 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 yeah. people are always late um, Japan's cleaner Ghana's working on it um, there's so many like small lifestyle differences like those things and then there's like big cultural differences and personalities like Japan Japanese people are a little bit more reserved you know mm -hmm. calmer Ghanaian people are a little bit more open mm -hmm. extroverted yeah there are a lot of differences yeah, well, that's <laughs> interesting. Yeah, yeah. really really but I, I feel like uh, you mm -hmm. really love your country I think you yeah. really love Ghana yeah, yeah. Yeah. You really love Ghana. Yeah. Well, how do you consider yourself now? More like uh, you consider yourself like a black person, a Japanese, I think or both. a Ghanaian? Both? Yeah. Oh. Because when people ask me like which one do you like more, I can't pick. Because if I said like when I'm in Ghana, I realize I'm not, I'm not full Ghanaian. Mm. You know? How? Because I'm I'm half Ghanaian. Because when you, I'm there, I realize like. There are some parts that you can't 100% relate, mm. you know, but I still feel like I belong. And then the same thing with Japan is like, I'm not 
full Japanese like I can't relate to a full Japanese people but I definitely have parts here so it's like when I'm there I see oh I'm half Japanese when I'm here I'm like oh I'm definitely half Ghanaian so both parts I think mm. definitely play a part no, oh, that's good. Yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Did you have really bad experience during your childhood? Because I know a lot of mixed people, like Malaysian people, really always have like a bad experience during their childhood. Right. Yeah. Uh, in Ghana. In Ghana in and Japan? in Japan, both, both. Okay, so in Ghana, I I never like. I think it was fortunate for me. I, I know people who have had bad experiences. Mm. For me, I've not had anything really bad. Maybe mm. like light. You know, mm. like in Ghana, they call like foreigners obroni. So it's like mm. a word called foreigner. Mm. So when they see you, they're like, oh, obroni, obroni. Or like <laughs> in like school, they'll, they think all Asian people are Chinese. Mm. So then they'll be like, speaking in Chinese phrases that are not real to kind of like make fun of you, <laughs> you know? Man, don't, I don't say anything, I was doing the same. Yeah, you know, so, so. Then, so then like small things like that, but it's not really like serious. Um, I've never got serious bullying or anything. Mm. And in Japan, I went to an international school. So I think my experience is also a little bit different because I think I know mixed people that went to Japanese schools mm. that got bullied and stuff mm. like that. But yeah, that's kind of... Oh. Yeah, so people can know straight mm. when they look at you that you are mixed with Asian. In Ghana, yeah. In Ghana, they don't think I'm Ghanaian at all. They, they, they don't think you are mixed with the white people or something. No, they think I'm Asian. Oh really? Yeah, they think How? I'm Chinese. My my eyes, <laughs> my eyes. May, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm too long time in, yeah, in yeah, Japan, yeah. so I, I don't realize. Yeah. Oh. No, as soon as people see me, they think I'm like some type of Asian. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Even your hair and everything. Yeah, you see, in, what confuses me is like mm. in Ghana, they don't. A lot of people don't think I'm Ghanaian at all when mm. they see me. When they see me, and then when, maybe when I talk to them, then they're like, "Oh, she's Ghanaian." Or, mm. but yeah, I know it's pretty obvious with the yeah. hair. So, yeah, but, yeah, I know. What about America? In America, it's more complicated, I think. Yeah, in America, they're just like, "Oh, where are you from?" They have no idea. Oh, but still telling where are you from, they don't consider you like a. Oh, this Afro American okay. or something. A lot of people do consider me like American, but then I also think a lot of people, my eyes, they're like, oh, she's from somewhere. You know, now. <laughs> Only eyes? I mean, it's so funny eyes. because <laughs> it's completely different. I, I don't think they know what is Asian eyes, I think. Really? Yeah. I think in. Um, at least in Ghana, like a lot of people notice my eyes. and But in America, you're right. A lot of mm. people um, don't. A lot of people think I'm American, mm. like African American, or I, I guess because in America now there's so many mixed people with like not just two races, three, four, mm. five, like so many different ones. So then it's common over there. So then it's like you can pass as American a little bit, but some people notice, some people don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Me, mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you because before you told that your father is uh, living in Ghana mm -hmm. and he lived also in Japan. Yeah. He can speak well Japanese and mm -hmm. everything, you know, Japanese culture. And your mother also like followed him in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Why your father mm -hmm. decided to go back to Ghana instead of staying in Japan? Mm. So my dad is a businessman. So I think he, he kind of moves wherever he thinks he can set up a business so he was in Japan for many years because he had a business here and then I think it was always maybe a goal for him to go back to Ghana because mm. his mom is there mm. you know go back to your country and mm. set up something or you know it's you want to go back home sometimes so mm. then I think that was his plan from the beginning so when maybe he got to like a good financial position here he planned to like move um, like us all of us back to Ghana mm. but even then he came back to Japan like frequently in the beginning because his business was still here mm. and his brothers took care of the business here so yeah I, I think mainly for just moving back home and business opportunities back in Ghana mm. yeah oh that's really good mm -hmm. so that's really good mm -hmm. oh <laughs> yeah it's not common that's why guys oh c'est pour ça les gars je vous dis que c'est bien de retourner investir au pays to invest in your own country it's better to invest <laughs> in in the France thing about investing in businesses in Africa I think yeah. I understand like the reluctance people have because it's like in the image of Africa is mainly from traditional media like TV mm. now there are youtubers that are starting so then you're getting more realistic because a lot of people here like my mom's side of the family they've never been to like Ghana mm. Africa so then 
what they think is what they see on TV, like not developed, maybe struggling, this, mm -hmm. this, this. Then you see vlogs of beautiful hotels and you're like, ah, oh, maybe I can live there. So then I think number one, you have to visit to be able to see what it's actually like. But number two, because it's developing and it's so behind, mm -hmm. For business, there's so much you can do. Mm. In a lot of these established countries, there's so much already that exists. If you want to now start a business, you need a lot of capital, you need new ideas. But if you're going back to Ghana or Africa, you can take ideas already from here. You can, you need less money, and there's a lot of opportunities, you know. <laughs> I don't say anything. Uh, I don't, your answer is perfect. <laughs> No, I can't say. I can't say anything, guys. Right? Oh, you want to do the interview? No. no. <laughs> okay. That's you want to you. do the interview? No, no, no. That's, that's, <laughs> no, no. that's your. That's your. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You say you lived in America, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In America, recently, I saw. I don't know if it's true. You mm -hmm. are living there, so mm -hmm. maybe you saw when you with your own eyes um, a lot of hate against Asian. Mm -hmm. A lot of hate against black people. But this is uh, yeah. It's like this since long time mm -hmm. ago. What do you yeah. think about it? So I was there when the Black Lives Matter happened because that was right when Corona was like starting last mm -hmm. year. And then I wasn't there when the Asian hate crimes were happening. But I think in both situations, it's just so sad because, for example, with Japan, mm. it's like they never said they were going to be open to foreigners or the Japan is a conservative country that preserves their culture. Mm -hmm. But America is not based on like one race or one nationality you know what i'm mm. saying it's a melting pot of so many different places and that's what america is so for like a country like that to have like hate crimes towards particular people when the country is for everyone is like so like sad to me but i think these things is not something that's going to change over one year Toka. Mm. you know because of social media there's always like the months where it's super focused on and then the next thing focused on but then it's i feel like it's going to be like multiple of those focuses over the next years and slowly change will happen but it's not something that like because this big scandal happened is going to change like in one month mm -hmm. but i don't i don't have the answers as to how how it can change but i definitely think social media like we're lucky mm -hmm. because if something happened like even you were talking about like your quarantine at when yeah. corona stuff mm -hmm. like putting that on social media like before that couldn't happen mm -hmm. but now you can put it on social media and people will at least start to pay attention you know yeah yeah true yeah. true yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that's true yeah okay <laughs> really it's really interesting when you're telling me because in france these kind of people we saying like half people or mixed people are not black it's not them to fight for the black community mm, I hear what you're saying like i think naomi osaka also mentioned this like you we get comments from both sides like you're not ghanian or like you're not japanese mm. right but then it's like if we're not either one then what are we number one mm. number two i think like any person would want to protect their parents if their parents were being attacked right mm. so if you're one of your parents is black and then your parents is being attacked for being black or whatever you would obviously protect them or feel related to them because they're your dad or your mom right so then it, it doesn't make sense to me when someone says oh you're not black like if your parents is black if you have black in your blood mm. you're black if you have japanese mom dad you're japanese too mm. so then i think like the whole do you know it's it's weird to me that people want to kind of like attack within themselves yeah instead of focusing on maybe the other people that are attacking the black people exactly. you want to fight within the black people oh you're not black enough you're you're black but you don't act black you're mm. african but you don't speak the african language instead of focusing mm. on like within ourselves there's so many other people yeah, of course me i'm always thinking that's mm. stupid mm -hmm. me me i'm telling you even a white mm. a white woman if a white woman fighting for black people right yeah she will be one of us yeah she will be one of us then yeah. they're like oh she's talking why she's talking on, on the name of black people she's not even dark skin she's not yeah. even she's light skin she's hot. i don't understand this thing yeah for me whatever someone fights for black people is one of them of us mm -hmm. that's it i agree i agree that's it yeah. yeah 
So to finish, me I watch a bit your YouTube videos. Yeah. I know like a lot of people like write you good comments even on Instagram mm -hmm. saying you're pretty and everybody <laughs> and everybody says these kind of things. Yeah. And you think, do you think you're more popular in Ghana or in Japan or in America? How old guys like see you? How old guys ah, like That's difficult. I think uh, mm, like where you're popular. Mm. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm really popular anywhere in particular. I think like um people are really okay i would say this mm. in in ghana mm. let's say like there's guys are more approach they approach people more mm -hmm. like not just to me but in general like if they see someone they probably will approach but in japan you, they don't do that here you know mm. it's more like among the people you know and that type of thing because in japan people are more reserved so then the culture is different of how guys maybe approach girls and i think in the u.s it's kind of like the middle u.s guys are also very like open and mm. approach approach girls so I think like in Japan it's hardest I don't know I don't know the situation in Japan really mm. because I, I come and go and it's kind of like among the people that I know mm. and so I don't know that but I think in Ghana eh, no okay. yeah. there's no criticism about like Blasian like mixed people in Ghana like guys think, guys will say oh me I want to date like okay a, I think guys? there yeah. is I mm. think there is and I think like personally I find that very like weird mm. like I think a lot of my mixed friends also find it a little bit it's in general like mm. I want to date a particular race mm. um, there are people like that mm. which is their preference you know so then it's like nothing I can say on my part but then I at least from my part it's like it's weird if someone approaches me and says I like you because you're mixed mm. because then it's like if I wasn't mixed you won't like mm. me you know mm. so then I think there's I've definitely heard a lot of my mixed friends also talk about that type of like struggle and there are definitely a lot of people that like leave comments like I want to date someone Oh your me, race, yeah, make your, me vomit this yeah, kind of stuff. Mix, yeah, yeah me, 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 the same things. I got always in the, in my comment like, oh, I want to marry a Japanese girl. I want mm. to. Ah, oh, I feel like yeah. So, so I don't know. And I'm sure, and I'm sure it's maybe similar. Sometimes, are there people in Japan that are like, I want to date black guy or like in France? I don't know what it's like in France. Yeah, in France there is. There's some. In, like, in, ja in Japan, I can see them like coming from far. Yeah. Both they're like girls, Japanese girls, like a bit hip hop, try to do braids. Yeah, 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 Me yeah. no, me is a like, no, don't come. I am not into me. Me, I, yeah, I, I'm not interested mm. in type of girl. Me, mm. if I, if I'm testing a girl. I need to date a real Japanese mm. woman, like mm. a real Japanese woman, not mm. a girl who try to be black. Mm. If I want a girl to try to be black, I would date a black girl. Mm. Why you have to try? Why you have to date an Asian who want to be black? Yeah, I think um, like people ask me like, will I date a Japanese mm. or Ghanaian? Like for me, I don't really look at like the nationality. Mm. I don't have in mind what I want to marry. Uh, this person i want to oh. marry this person it's kind of like if i like you then i like you mm. so then i don't ha i don't really put like race or nationality on the front of my oh. mind to think about someone that i'm going to date so then if someone comes to me and like i want to date you because you're this then mm. that's it, not just race anything like I, I like you because you have curly hair or i like you because you wear <laughs> these guys you say this like yeah it's so that's like yeah it's so bad yeah it's so yeah. bad technique why yeah. are you doing this I don't know. Instagram DMs, especially <laughs> and YouTube. Oh, yeah. oh, what's that, guy? Oh, yeah. guys, you have to change your technique. You yeah. need to be more like like a, the girl, not yes, the nationality, yeah, not the mix. Yeah. And also, like women in all nationalities are beautiful, you know. So then everyone has their preference, sure. But you know, it's kind of. Yeah. Sure. Ouais, really interesting, interesting. Yeah. So guys, 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 bon les gars, on va finir la vidéo sur ça. Franchement, c'était très intéressant. Elle a des trucs très intéressants. Hey, elle a une chaîne YouTube. Il faut aller, oui. euh, il faut aller, il faut aller s'enregistrer, hein, s'abonner, tout ça sur sa chaîne. <rire> Et euh, franchement, hey, les gars, si vous souhaitez qu'on fasse une autre vidéo, on sait jamais sur un autre sujet, un autre truc. Euh, Dites-le moi en commentaire. Ok. Merci hey. beaucoup. La vise. Au revoir. <rire>